Ladies and most gentlemen, today we're going to talk about Vampire Elves. Well, more specifically, we're going to be talking about a race that hasn't been mentioned in Warcraft for a while now. I'm talking about the Sand Lane, also known as the Dark Fallen, if you want an easier word to pronounce. So if you didn't know, the Sand Lane are a race of undead blood elves who serve the Lich King and the Scourge. They had a prominent presence in the Wrath of the Lich King expansion, and actually popped up during the Scourge Invasion pre-expansion event, with the addition of Prince Tenderous Murkblood in the Burning Crusade raid Karazhan. At the end of the Wrath expansion, a lot of the main figureheads of the Sand Lane were killed in the Icecrown Citadel raid in the Crimson Halls, and most of us just assumed that the race was pretty much done since we haven't heard from them in so long. So why is everyone talking about them now? Well, from some data mine dialogue, it seems that in an effort to eradicate the Alliance, Sylvanas reached out to a Sand Lane known as Blood Prince Dreven and brought him and his forces to Zandalar to support the Horde with the recent war against the Alliance. Although judging by the current text, Princess Talanji isn't too happy about this merger and is a bit suspicious about the whole thing. But I'm not going to go super in depth with their lore and the dialogue text, I'll leave a link below to the full data mine text from Wowhead so you can read it for yourself and make your own predictions on this race. There are also plenty more channels out there which go into incredible details on these kind of things, so I'll leave it up to them. So what I'm going to do today is look over their model and theorise how this race could potentially be added to the ranks of playable. So as usual, let's take a quick look at the model and see what we're working with here by first checking out the current skin colours that are available for this race. So this race is pretty interesting. Looking around the Crimson Hall in Ice Crown, you can see that there are some models which use the unique model that I showed, and some that are pretty much just Blood Elf Death Knight skins. But first, let's check out this unique model. So this model was known as Vampire Blood Prince in the game files, and I'm gonna be honest, it has not aged very well at all. Comparing it to the current Blood Elf, it does just look really bad. It honestly reminds me of those High Elf models from Vanilla, which looking back now, just look dreadful. I think the worst looking parts for me have to be this lame excuse for a chain on their chest, and pretty much the whole face and hair looks awful as well. This model does have some layers that you can remove though, but the armour is pretty much here to stay on this one. You can remove the hair and the headdress to reveal an even scarier looking model, and you can also remove the ears for some unknown reason. But you can't remove all of the gear on this model. It does however have some unique animations which sets it apart from its Blood Elf counterpart, most of these being emotes and they're actually pretty great. It really shows off the spooky and vampiric nature of this model. It reminds me quite a lot of Vamp from the Metal Gear Solid series. Now for the female model, or the Blood Queen model, this one's a little bit more crazy. As this model was used for a main boss in Ice Crown, it has a lot more details on it and even features these awesome looking wings. This model was also reused in Legion as a boss for the Violet Hold dungeon. It also only has one colour, which is this one here. So much like the Blood Prince model, this model is not aged great and looks pretty low res when you get up to it close. It also features a few layers which can be removed, and you can basically break it down all the way back to its undead Blood Elf form. This model also features a few unique animations on top of the Blood Elf ones, most of them related to flying combat and events that the boss does during the encounter in Ice Crown. But obviously the playable Sand Lane won't always be a Blood Prince or a Blood Queen, but I think the potential player model might have to just be a dumbed down version of these, but it can definitely take some inspiration from the Blood Prince and the Blood Queen models. I think going by all the recent updates to models they're going to be used in Battle for Azeroth, I could seriously see the Sand Lane getting a massive model upgrade in this expansion, especially considering it looks like Blood Prince Dreven is going to be a main player in the Nazmir story, which you would imagine is the beginning of a story arc which you could see going throughout the whole expansion. I would love to see a brand new model, and honestly, seeing it standing next to some of the newer character models is just embarrassing. I think an easy route they could go down is simply just creating an NPC with the Blood Elf Death Knight skin and sticking on some armor that we saw NPCs wearing in the Crimson Hall in Ice Crown. But here's hoping for a brand new model for these guys. I just know they could really make it look special, judging by some of the amazing work they've done with models in this expansion so far. As for the potential classes for this race, the Seat of Knowledge and Legitimacy, known as Walpedia, lists the race as being able to be mages, priests, rogues, warriors, and death knights. 
This data is more than likely gathered from NPCs that are currently in the game and what spells they cast. Obviously there's always room for more classes for them, but the most interesting one for me is the Death Knight. I think the main issue with having this race as a Death Knight is trying to make them seem different from a Blood Elf Death Knight. As honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a huge community out there that RP as San Lane using the Blood Elf Death Knight as a base. But from recent interviews, it seems like Death Knights are not something they're looking to include in future allied races. So I think that might just end up being a retcon. And they'll just tell the San Lane Death Knight fanboys to just make Blood Elves. So overall, this is a race that's been forgotten by time, and honestly, it's refreshing and exciting to see it coming back in a big way. I know there are a lot of people out there complaining about so many elves in the game, and it's pretty much become a meme at this point. But if this race was to be executed well, and doesn't end up being another Blood Elf reskin, I think the community as a whole would be happy about it. Maybe they could throw in a much requested Northrend based allied race for the Alliance to calm down the haters. That would work out perfectly. I would also love the fact that this race could potentially take us back to Northrend and even potentially stir up the pot with Bolvar. Now that's a storyline I would love to see play out, even if it was just a side story to the overall faction war. So that's pretty much all I've got for the Sand Lane and the Allied Race theories. For me personally, I think with a model upgrade and some brand new animations, this race could fit very well with the Horde and would be a very interesting Allied Race to be added. I know it's not as highly requested as a High Elf or a Wild Hammer Dwarf, but I'll put money on the fact that if Blizzard does come out with some incredible looking unique models for these guys, the community will be begging for it. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on all of this, and do you think the Sand Lane would fit well as a playable race, or do you think it's just a bit of a pipe dream? I'd love to know what you guys think. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons and YouTube sponsors. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in that way, links are down below. So leave a like on this video if you liked it guys and subscribe if you haven't. I also have a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. Link is down below. And with that, I'll see you next time.